welcome to its topic in today's video i am going to explain about looping in javascript chapter 7 class 10 computer science sometimes you may want to execute the same instruction or set of codes again and again for example suppose you want to uh, print the table of 5 then each time the same step, step is repeating like uh, 5 is multiplied by 1, 2, 3 and so on so for that reason we can use loop a loop is a sequence of instruction that may be repeatedly executed the loop statement contains a condition that determines when the loop will terminate a loop compromise three statements initialization that means it is the starting point of the loop condition means uh, when the loop should stop and increment or decrement statement means in each step how much the loop will increase or decrease there are mainly three types of loops in javascript they are while loop do while loop and for loop first while loop the general format of while loop is as you can see on the screen first while inside the bracket you will write the condition then curly braces within the curly braces you will write the body of the loop so the code that will execute it repeatedly inside a loop is known as body of the loop the statement will execute it repeatedly as long as the condition is true in a while loop suppose my condition is while number greater than 10 so till the time the number is greater than 10 the loop will run repeatedly the statement can be simple or compound like inside the bracket it's written statements it can be either a single line of statement or it can have multiple lines grouped in a block For example, suppose I have to write a JavaScript to display the number from 1 to 10. So the first step is to declare a variable and initialize the value to it. To declare a variable, var keyword is used in JavaScript. And n is the name of my variable and equal 1. 1 is the initialization point of the loop. Next step to write the condition so while n less than equal to 10 then body of the loop document dot write here we can write number well plus n plus operator is used to add string and variable together and here br br is used to add a insert a new line after its time of repetition of the loop here n plus plus n plus plus means the value of n will be increment by one after its time of repetition like at first it will display as one then the value of n will be increment by 1 means it will be 2 next time we will able to see the output as 2 third time 3 like this it will go on till 10 now save the program and open it for the output so you will see the number like this way I think something is wrong yeah i have not written br i have written only b now let's reload the file again you will see the output like this way 
now suppose i have to display only the event numbers not all the numbers so in body of the loop i will write a condition if n modulus 2 equal equal 0 save now you will see only numbers 2 4 6 8 and 10 the odd number will be skipped so this way you can write program in javascript uh, by using while loop now the next loop is do while loop in while loop if the condition is false then the loop will not run at all it will directly exit from the loop but in do while loop even if the condition is false still it can run one time so in uh, do while loop the first it first display or execute the body of the loop then check the condition but in while loop it first check the condition if the condition is true then it's enter in the body of the loop and so as the output but in do while it directly show the body of the loop then check the condition if condition is true it repeat otherwise stop it the type of do while loop is exactly same as while loop except the condition in do while loop it evaluate after the execution of statements do while uh, do loop check before the statements and do while after the statements suppose the same program i want to write in do while loop so at first line in place of while do will be here like do means do something then the statement document dot write number equal n then the repetition uh, and plus plus after the bracket or after the body of the loop i will write the condition while n less than equal to 10 now let's run it save so you will see the same output 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so there is not much difference between while and do while loop the main difference is while loop check before only the condition and do while loop check after run one time now suppose if I declare the value of n equal 12 that means my condition is false so according to while loop it should not run let's see in do while loop it run or not so it run one time only number equal 12 then it stop so this is the difference between while and do while do while loop will run at least one time even if it is false our third loop is for loop in while and do while loop we declare the initialization uh, condition and repetition in different parts but in for loop we will write all the things in one line only for example suppose first i have to write the same program display the numbers from 1 to 10 for that first i will require a variable var n now i'll write for statement for i equal i'll write the starting point oops not i and equal 1 semicolon semicolon separate the statements inside the for loop then n less than equal to 10 semicolon again n plus plus now body of the loop it will be document dot write n plus br and br should be within quotation 
so done save it and open the file so you will so, uh, see the output as similar uh, to do while and while loop but the for loop is little bit easier than the while loop and do while because everything you can write in one line only and suppose now I want to display the numbers which are only odd then just add this line if and modulus 2 equal 1 now it will display uh, us the number 1 3 5 7 9 yes so this way you can write program in for loop in for loop you will get two more new things these are break and continue break means suppose I have to display the number from 1 to 10 but in middle I have to stop means I have to stop after it reaches the end value 5 so I can write if n equal 5 break means when the value of n will reach 5 the loops will exit though the condition is till 10 but for the break statement it will stop at 5 only so let's see the output so you can see 1, 2, 3, 4 and when it reaches 5, it's come out from the loop. As I have written the statement before document.write, so it didn't display the number 5. But if I write the statement after document.write, you will able to see the 5 also. Let's save it. as here because first it displaying the statement then it check the condition and one more we have continue continue is mainly used to skip a part from the loop suppose I don't want to display the number 5 in my loop I want to display the number from 1 to 10 except the number 5 so if an equal equal 5 then continue save just reload it <clears throat> I think we have to write the continue before the statement save the statement or save the file now reload as here you will see the 5 is missing 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 10 so this is the use of break and continue break will kick you out from forcefully from a loop and continue will skip apart from the loop so these are the example of while do while and for loop in javascript in next video we'll discuss about the question answers and application based questions of javascript for today's lesson this much only see you in next video till then take care and bye